In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the zero superpower of superpowers. It's called Find and Recode. Apologies, I might just get a little bit excited in this video because confession time, this is my absolute favourite thing in Zero. Maybe it's because I've been using Zero for so long that I remember Zero before we had this option. I remember when Find and Recode appeared and I simply was blown away. I could not believe it. So what is Find and Recode? Now it's as the name suggests, you can find transactions and you can recode them. So it's used for correcting errors. But the thing about correcting errors is when you make a mistake in zero, the chances are you won't make that mistake once. You might make it twice, you might make it 12 times. So for example, if you've coded something wrong one month of the year, you've possibly coded it wrong 12 times in the year. So you get to year end and you're looking at your transactions and you realize that something is wrong. Now in the bad old days, what would you, would you have done? You would have gone and corrected that 12 times or you would possibly entered an adjusting manual entry to do a correction. But there's a better way. You can go back and you can correct every single transaction. So all 12 of them, if you've made a mistake every month and you can do it very, very simply, all at once using find and recode. The best way is to go into Zero and look at it and hopefully you'll get excited with me when you see what I mean. So let's head into Zero and I'll show you how to use the most amazing Zero find and recode. Okay, time to look at find and recode in action. I'm going to choose contacts and all contacts and I'm going to search for a specific contact, outstanding offices. Okay, in our zero account, we've got five invoices from this supplier. Let's look at the first one. What we can see is it's for office cleaning and we can see when we go to the account that it's been coded to the wrong place. It's been coded to printing and stationery and error. You won't know by looking at this screen, but also the VAT is incorrect. This supplier is not VAT registered, so that shouldn't be 20% VAT on expense. So that's the first bill from them. Let's take a look at the second bill. And there's no surprise that the same error has been made. And in fact, you can trust me on this, if we go to every single bill, it's the same thing. It's been coded to printing and stationery in error, and the tax rate is incorrect. So let's fix it. We're going to choose accounting, going to choose advanced, and then we're going to choose find and recode. It's a favorite of mine. So from accounting, I can go straight to it. Okay, then we just choose find and recode. Okay, we're going to click on add a condition. And we're going to go to the contact and we're going to find outstanding offices. If we say search at this stage, all our invoices will appear. Now this is a re repeating invoice, so there's also one as well as the five that are in our zero account, we've got a draft one as well. So we want to select them. We can select them individually or we can go here and select them all. And that's what we're going to do because that's the beauty of it. I'm going to fix every single one at the same time. We can see the account is printed and stationary for all of them and the VAT is 20%. I'm going to choose recode. The contact, I don't want to change. The account, I do. Do we have an account for cleaning? Yes, that's where it should be. And also, I can do this at the same time, I'm going to change the tax rate. And I'm going to scroll down and you can almost see it on my screen, zero rated expenses. Review doesn't really do anything. I'll select that. It shows you that we're recoding to cleaning and we're recoding to zero rated and it's six transactions. There's a warning, say it might take some time, but it's usually quite quick. Confirm and that's it done. So let's go to contacts. I'm going to the search, find outstanding. 
and select one of these bills. So we'll select the first one and now we can see it's coded to the correct place and it's got the correct tax rate. If we scroll down to the bottom, we can see the details. This transaction was recoded. Show pre-recoded items so you can see what it was previously. And just in case you're wondering, let's pick up another invoice and exactly the same has happened. So that is how you use find and recode and we were able to very quickly amend six different transactions. That is the amazing find and recode. As always, if you like my videos, please let me know that you like them. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when new videos are uploaded each week. Until next time, happy zeroing.